Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well in your exams. So uh, today we are going to cover a very, uh, I would not say important as such, but it was recently asked by a few surveyors. This question, uh, these questions uh, regarding the regulations for coffer dam. Uh, you can also tell it as requirement for coffer dam because it is different for a tanker ship and it is different for other ships so uh, we have i have compiled here all the requirements or you can say the regulations um, as per the law okay so uh, first of all before going to uh, the regulations for coffer dam what we can focus today is uh, what we can cover today first is what is a coffer dam what is a void space difference between a coffer dam and a void space then we'll look on to the requirement of a coffer dam and can a coffer dam be also called as a void space or vice versa okay so so without any further ado let's start uh, the discussion that what is a coffer dam so basically uh, i have taken it from different area i'll describe you coffer dam is an isolating space you can say now on ships what we are doing we are having different different uh, what you can say the commodity or the liquid or the fluid that we carry that may be uh, fresh water that may be um, sometime even sea water that can also be uh, in form of ballast and we also have fuel oil lube oil and in fuel oil also we carry it as a cargo oil, ca cargo as well and in that also what is there is uh, is a different grade of oil so to in order to avoid the intermixing the mixing of two grade of oil to create any other uh, further um, problem what we do we provide coffer dam between tanks now uh, you can say we we provide a void space between tanks to avoid intermixing of two fluid so coffer dam is an isolating space between two adjacent steel bulkheads or decks this space may be void space or a ballast space. Coffer dam is a type of enclosed space and all enclosed space entry precautions must be taken. So whenever you, whenever and wherever you mention coffer dam, then you must mention that it is what? It is an enclosed space. So as you know, as per the procedure, that wherever we have enclosed space, we need to have a enclosed space entry. For that, we need to prepare an enclosed space entry permit. So now this definition of uh, enclosed space, I have taken it from Watsila Encyclopedia. Uh, an isolating space arranged so that compartment on each side have no common boundary. A coffer dam may be located vertically or horizontally. A coffer dam on tankers may be a void space or a ballast space. As per Watsila Encyclopedia. Now. This is the space now you can see there are adjacent two tanks in between space we have this void space okay for access we are going to discuss in further details i'm just uh, uh, describing you by the diagram we have a, a manhole okay so let's move where is coffer dam so next question comes where is coffer dam so now if i uh, take you to uh, the um, the all the ships uh, we have this uh, uh, you can say the arrangement so it is between fuel oil tanks lube oil tanks fresh water tanks and in the engine room all around main engine lube oil drain or sump tank to separate it from other double bottom tanks between other different grades liquid as we have already discussed all these things so i'm reading it for you like diesel oil and fuel oil service tank Coffer dam is also provided to give access to the holding down bolts for main engine. We'll, I'll, I'll show you by the diagram because we have bed plates and um, um, beside that we have coffer dam space for main engine as well. So this is a very important point for engineers especially. Between cargo space and machinery space, pump room may also be a part of coffer dam. So you can have a look at uh, the diagram that I was discussing. So this is the main engine, that part, it's a cross-section transverse view. So you have main engine low boil sump and then you have the coffer dam space. The lowest part is the bed plate. 
how about void space so if i talk about the void space so void space is an enclosed space in the cargo area so now coffer dam is uh, is basically it can be anywhere between tanks in the engine room between uh, and in the main engine bed plate so it can be anywhere but void space is an enclosed space that is in the cargo area external to a cargo containment system other than a hold space ballast space fuel oil tank cargo pump or compressor room or any space in normal use by personnel void space will not be used in most case now you see when you see the diagram this is a diagram for a tank for a tanker ship basically so we have primary barrier we have cladding we have secondary barrier and we also have water ballast tanks that is wing tanks okay and we have double bottom tanks and you have void space what is provided so basically what we want we for external for external the tank to not get uh, access to outside uh, uh, the if in case of a grounding or a collision um, if there is any damage to the hull body so tank is not exposed to the atmosphere so this is also a detailed cross section where you can have a, a void space here that okay now the question comes can a coffer dam because in the definition of coffer dam i have mentioned ballast space or void space so can a coffer dam be called a void space as explained above the coffer dam is a type of void or empty compartment however the terminology of void space is used for another purpose on a sea going vessel so uh, this void space is used for another purpose that basically we have categorized this for cargo area cargo tanks a void space is also a type of enclosed space and is usually provided in the cargo area of the ship it is typically present on external part of the cargo containment system the void space is also the result of constructional arrangement for strengthening the ship structure unless unlike because we have the primary barrier and secondary barrier so we need to provide that void space okay unlike areas such as ballast tank cargo pump room pipeline spaces etc which are accessed by the human for inspection the void space is not visited frequently for inspection as this space has no commercial or operational usage okay now when we move ahead we talk about the regulations for coffer dam as the main the topic for today what uh, we were covering so i hope the coffer dam what is a coffer dam and what is a void space can a coffer dam be called a void space uh, i think it um, uh, after considering that it is clear for you we move ahead and we talk about the regulations or the requirement manhole to be provided for entry and inspection as i shown you the diagram in the beginning that there has to be a manhole door to have a sounding pipe because it's any any compartment which is not filled which is kept empty there are chances that we can have a leakage from the atmosphere we can have a leakage of anything so we need to always monitor as a fourth engineer or a, uh, or a junior engineer you you must be uh, asked or a trainee to take the sounding for that compartment and if coffer dam as well to maintain dry at all time it has to be maintained it's a uh, misspelt uh, it it should be maintained to maintain dry at all time build suction from bilge pump since we have a sounding pipe so it means there has to be a connection because if in case there is a flooding or if in case there is some water ingress or oil in anything so we need to have bilge suction from bilge pump so this is the arrangement that bilge level alarm monitoring system has to be there so that whenever there is any uh, uh, level high so the alarm comes and the engineer is aware of what is going on cover entire tank adjacent bulkhead so the coffer dam has to cover the whole part of the bulkhead of the tank of the both side okay so you can imagine there are two tanks in between we have provided a void space in between we have provided a empty space okay so it has to cover the tanks both the tanks bulkhead in full minimum distance between bulkhead is 600 mm lighting to be there not to be cut bottom or top third of vertical wave diaphragm plate of coffer dam as this may lead to buckling of the plate okay so you need not to cut at the bottom or at the top because then buckling will be there air vent pipe to atmosphere though so there has to be a air vent pipe which need to lead to the atmosphere so it has to go to the open deck wherein uh, it it will be exposed to the 
um, atmosphere. In oil tanker, copper uh, dam has a gas detection system because there are chances because oil uh, there are chances of gas. Okay, so there has to be a gas detection system. A coffer dam may be located vertically or horizontally. It can be located vertically or horizontally. As a rule, a coffer dam shall be kept gas tight and must be properly ventilated and of sufficient size to allow proper inspection, maintenance and safe evacuation. Okay, all these arrangements has to be there. These are self-explanatory. Pump room and ballast tank, which are considered as coffer dam in a tanker ship, should not have any opening pipe room, double bottom or any other enclosed space unless that opening is provided with gas tight bolted manhole cover. So gas tight bolted manhole cover has to be there. Okay, any opening from the pump room or, or in case. Coffer dam on such spaces must be provided with sounding and air vent pipes. The air vent pipes from the coffer dam must lead to the atmosphere and it should be fitted with flame screens near the outlet as you must have seen the outlet of the coffer dam or any uh, vent space there are lowers and there are flame screen okay there should not be uh, I'll, I'll separately cover the construction of this vent pipe in a separate video okay the coffer dam in oil tanker which surrounds the slop tanks are also provided uh, with gas detection which should be uh, function tested before loading cargo it has to be functionally tested when a corner to corner situation occurs between a non hazardous space and a cargo tank a coffer dam created by a diagonal plate across the corner on the non hazardous size may be accepted as uh, separation such coffer dam shall be ventilated if accessible or filled with suitable compound if not accessible in an oil tanker installed with fremo cargo, uh, cargo system People sailing on tanker ship have uh, mentioned it in a different color. The reason being is that these are for basically for uh, tanker ships. So, Framo carging pumping system. A coffer dam is used for pump to form a guarding area where separate the um, which separates the hydraulic section of the pump and also act as a space to fit seal monitoring equipment. The Framo pump coffer dam helps the engineer officer to check and assess the seal condition. Okay. The purging process is done to determine the operating condition of the seal. To purge the coffer dam, pressurized air or nitrogen is used, which is then ejected out from the exhaust pipe located on the deck. Okay, so the purging has to be done for the coffer dam system. So uh, before loading a cargo, the gas detection has to be done, sounding has to be taken. All these criteria has to uh, as a regulation. Purging of the coffer dam should be done prior to and completion of every cargo operation when the ship is. On a long voyage, Fremo pump coffer dam purging to be done once in a week because Fremo area also we have a coffer dam. So that also has to be done on a long voyage once in a week. Now we, we have a requirement that how we test a coffer dam. A coffer dam can be tested separately by filling it to the top. Avoid testing the coffer dam in dry dock. We don't test it in dry dock. So this is a precaution that we take when there is no site pressure from outside or within all the adjacent tank empty as this may give rise to large stresses on supporting structure and material as we also discussed in the construction part that coffer dam uh, we don't cut a lighting hole or a manhole door in the bottom or at the top because of the buckling so the same situation arises here we need not to test um, when both the compartment is filled both the tank is filled adjacent tank is filled and we are testing the uh, coffer dam by filling it with completely so because we will have extra stresses which will be very large on the supporting structure and material coffer dam must be considered as a type of enclosed space and all enclosed space entry precautions as we also have discussed in the beginning must be taken before making an entry in the same okay so this is the requirement before making entry inside the coffer dam it should be gas freed by using a portable blower ventilation system the required ventilation capacity for the gas freeing of the coffer dam should be at least eight air changes per hour so ventilation capacity as you must have seen for uh, um, uh, cargo spaces for a cargo space or you can say um, uh, sorry the pump room uh, or for a co2 room they are different so here also we have a ventilation fan requirement which has to be there so that uh, we have this uh, ventilation going on so all these conditions we have missed 
that uh, met that how we are supposed to test the coffer dam so what are the regulations that uh, we have to cover so there are bills monitoring system alarm system manhole door not to be cut at the bottom or at the top now uh, what is a void space can a coffer dam be called a void space difference between a coffer dam and a void space okay so how about the this is very important uh, the main engine coffer dam uh, beside the bed plates okay so now, all these points we have tried to cover we have we also have given the definitions for coffer dam different different definitions by different different uh, people okay so i hope things are clear for you so uh, you can also give us your feedback to improvise on certain area okay and you can also comment if you want some topic specific topic which has to be covered from our end please give us your valuable and timely feedback thank you so much thank you for your time all the best for your exams